Hey guys, now let's talk about Burg Willenstein Flossheim. The remains of the small castle ruins Willenstein Flossheim lies on the mountain spur in the middle of the forest above Karlstal in Tripstadt, Germany. The older Willenstein castle was probably built in 1152 by Emperor Friedrich Barbarossa to protect the imperial lands around Kaiserslautern and the Hohenstaufen property. In 1247, the Counts of Leiningen were lords of the castle. But in 1273, Knight Johannes von Willenstein seized 7 kilometers of land, including the castle, and left his own coat of arms chiseled. In 1300, the Willenstein line of the Wartenbergs died out. In the event of inheritance disputes between Rograf Conrad and Wildraf Gottfried, in 1334, the castle was destroyed, but then rebuilt. The Knights of the Flarsheim family and the Leiningen Countess widow von Falkenstein each received half of the castle in 1347 as a compensation. The castle was divided into two, the eastern high aristocratic Falkensteiner part and the western lower aristocratic Flarsheimer part were designated. There were constant conflicts between the neighbors that it took a year to resolve it. In 1481, the castle fell entirely to the Electoral Palatinate due to the inheritance disputes from the Leiningen. In the Thirty Years' War, the castle was destroyed in 1633-34 and was probably empty in the period that followed. In 1719, Freya Ludwig Anton von Ake originally from Thuringian nobility, acquired the ruin and the surrounding forest district. But he lived in his castle residence in Tripstadt, one kilometer to the east. The castle fell to France in 1792 during the French Revolution. In 1803, it became the property of Alsace, In 1865, it was bought by the Kingdom of Bavaria. The ruins of the upper castle have remains of the shield wall, gate, palace, pentagonal keep, and kennel. Parts of the ruins of the lower castle directly next to it are freely accessible. At the beginning of the 1960s, part of the upper castle was restored and expanded to a school camp which has been privately sponsored since 1962. The castle is also home to a self-catering house with 40 places that can accommodate school classes, youth, and leisure groups. So that's it for the history of the Burg Village Time of Florsheim. Until next time, don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe. Bye! So guys, if you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel and feel free to comment. Hit the bell, hit the bell, hit the bell, hit the bell, come on guys, hit the bell! For notifications. And don't forget to share. And like.